What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, and guys, how we doing today? As usual, you know what to do. Drop 10k in the comments, like for a and like the video for a chance of winning 10k, and sub if you're new. As usual, usually what I say. And guys, this video is gonna be nice and simple. It's just gonna be the top investments, getting ready for next roster update. And all that good stuff. Who's doing good in the MLB? Every week I do this. I'm doing it every single week from here on out. Best investments probably on a Thursday. Doing it all the time. So Thursday today, we're gonna talk about the best investments. Tomorrow we're gonna tell you what to do before uh, the update comes, where we get new headliner packs and stuff like that. As you can see, I have white on my hair because I got caulking on my hair somehow. But whatever. Okay, so yes, like I said, drop 10k in the comments, sub if you're new, and like to have it win. The video I said it's 50 likes though for a chance to win uh, 10k. That's all you have to do. So let's get into it. So my number one investment this week, I'm going to go right at it and I'm going to say it's Chris Bryant because Chris Bryant, I was waiting for it and I'm going to buy it right now in this video for you guys. He's on fire and his edges down. If you're watching this, go pick him up. I'm picking him up because it's just a great move, first of all. He's playing amazing and his edge is down right now. Why would you not want that card? He's playing amazing right now. So let's keep going. Freddie Freeman, another one. His edge is down. I have him already. His edge is down. Great time to pick him up. But the only thing is with these investments, like the diamond investments, the only scary part is, is when they drop headliner packs on Friday, their prices could drop. But if you do, if you wait, if you make this investment now and you wait till Sunday to sell them, or let's say the next roster update, hopefully your player goes up. That's when I would sell them. I never, ever, 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 ever sell cards on a Friday or, uh, or any Friday. Just never sell your cards. Thursday's not a bad time to sell. Wednesday, Tuesday. I like selling my cards on Sunday. Sunday, in my opinion, is the best time to sell. Sunday and Monday, I would say. Because they never usually drop content. Even though this Monday, they did drop content. Okay. So, let's keep going. We got... Oh, let's see. I'm just going to go through all these players and off the top of my head. Okay. If you have Joe Votto, this is not a good investment. I would get rid of him. The way he's been playing right now, he's going to go gold next update. There's no way... He stays diamond. He does, he's batting like 150. Just get rid of him. That's all I have to say. Let's keep going. Javier Baez, okay. If you have him and you see... Okay, on Friday when they drop packs, he might go down a lot. If he goes down a lot, I'm, I'm scooping him. I already have one, as you can see. If he goes down more, I'm scooping him. He's playing like an MVP. I'm pretty sure right now in ranking-wise, he's top 10. I'm pretty sure... I know he's playing amazing, and I know... Actually, I'm almost positive he's top 10. So, yeah. Uh, Javier Baez is a great pickup, but I'll wait till Friday to pick him up. He's too expensive right now. He's a very good investment, though, for roster update-wise. And let's keep going. Garrett Cole has been playing that bad. Pretty cheap, too. 10K, not a bad investment. Uh, let's keep going. So, yeah, Chris Bryant, definitely, definitely a freaking good investment. Right now, okay, so Bellinger's back at 10K... If you want to scoop for 10k, that's not a bad investment. I'll wait till Friday on it. But the investments that you could buy now and you won't lose any stubs off on Friday is gold, silvers, and bronze. So let's get into it. Aldrington Simmons, I have four of him. He actually might go diamond next update. The way he's been playing, hopefully keeps it up. Guys, I'm picking him up. Not only will I'm going to make stubs off him automatically, but I think he might go diamond. I don't know if they're going to give him diamond again. It's very possible the way he's been playing, the way he's been hitting, the way he's been fielding. So keep that in mind. He is 99 fielding. He's been playing amazing. I think he's going to go down again. But don't quote me. I think he is. Okay. So let's go with Trey Turner. Trey Turner, if you want to pick him up now while he's injured and wait, let's say, I think he's coming back in a month and a half. I mean, for a 1,700 stubs, I'm almost positive Trey Turner is going to go diamond. He's amazing when he plays. When he's healthy... I don't know if I even have it. I have two of him. As he's getting towards action again, he might go up a lot. You have to keep that. You have to keep that in mind. Trevor Story could go up a lot. So yeah, Trevor Story not a bad pickup now, but it's more of a future thing. It's not really okay. So Matt Chapman, awesome pickup. I'm pretty sure I have like six. I have eight guys. He's gonna go diamond. 
He's playing. Uh, he's a top 15 player right now. I'm positive about that. Awesome pickup. Okay, right now, Okuna is at 5K. It's crazy because next update, he's he went 4 for 4 yesterday or two days ago. He's still playing pretty decent. He's batting like 290. Not doing bad at all. He's an 84 at 5K. If he goes diamond, he's 10K. You make 4K stubs after reduction. So think about that. Okay. 2k for bauer i'm buying more this is crazy once again i always talk about it bauer is gonna go diamond this year i don't care what anybody says he's an ace right now he's pitching amazing besides the last start he got lit up but one start like what is he like five and one i don't know he's playing amazing just go get him i have meds of him rizzo's playing decent i have a bunch of him but i got him what i would do is i would make all these investments i'm showing you on friday because the auction's gonna drop it's gonna crash they're gonna drop new headliner legends i'm pretty sure and yes friday is the time to buy all these cards i'm showing you just saying so let's keep going we got trevor story another player that i think is gonna go diamond i have eight of him so all these players are must pickups i have ozuna he might go diamond I actually don't have a lot of him. Let me pick up more. Actually, no. I'm waiting until Friday to pick him up. He's going to be quick sell value on Friday. Severino, not that bad of a pickup. I have a couple of him. Seager's not bad of a pickup, especially since he's quick sell value. He's two overalls away from Diamond. Very possible. Brad Hand, very good pickup. He's pitching amazing. I'm pretty sure he's top five closer right now. No, I am positive he's a top five closer right now. I'm pretty sure he's 10 for 10 on saves this season. Good pickup. I have a couple of him. Bet Batanz is no. Okay, Vlad Jr. If you have him, sell him. The way he's been playing has been awful. He's not going to go up in price. He's going to keep dropping. He was 20K when he released for like that first week. Just get rid of him if you have him. I'm sorry. I'm not to trash him. I know he's a rookie. He could break out of nowhere, but right now, I would just sell him. You could get him for way cheaper uh, tomorrow. So, yeah. Walker Bueller's not. Okay, with freaking Merrifield, yo. With Merrifield is on a complete freaking tear if you're watching this pick up at least 10 i would say pick up 10 drop 10k stubs on wit especially on friday he's gonna be quick sell value it's a no-brainer he's going to be diamond he is a complete stud he is a top five player right now i don't care what anyone says look at the stats look at the rankings he's a complete stud Do, I, i'm telling you i you know what i'm gonna look it up right now just to show you that he's a top five player because i don't want to hear anybody saying that he's not because the stats say it He's, he's ranked three on fan, in Yahoo Fantasy. If you can see that. Rank three. Whit Merrifield is ranked three. His last game, he went four for five, four hits, two singles, a, tr uh, a triple and a home run with five RBIs and a stolen base. Go pick him up, please. I beg, I beg, I beg. That's all I can say. Just go pick up Whit Merrifield. Thank me when he's diamond. Thank me when his overall goes up. It's going to happen. Okay gold okay Barreos for a thousand coins bro he's going diamond this year he pitched another gem yesterday he is six and one on the season wait wait he's either six and one or five and one don't quote me let me get on to him jose Barreos is six and one on the season it's a no-brainer it's just go pick him up i have so many of him like 1200 coins bro come on bro i'm gonna make so many stubs all right, so let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, forget the golds. I'm going to go over some silvers. Besides, okay, Marquez is actually doing really freaking good right now. He just turned gold. He could keep going up. We'll see. No, okay, if you have Puig, just sell him. He's going to be silver. He's batting 150. It's it's upsetting. Okay, let's go into some silver, uh, to some bronzes, actually. Everybody knows this. All my supporters know this. But I'm going to say it again. Hunter Dozier. He is unbelievable, guys. He had another triple yesterday. He had a home run the day before that. He's batting like 350 this season. He's batting like four something over the last two weeks. He's unbelievable. If you ha don't have him and you're watching this video and you're new to the channel, pick him up. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple more sleepers. Martin Perez. Hold Let's see if his price went up. Guys. Okay. His price went up a lot. Actually, I have 30. I got... 30 of them for 10 stubs or less so right there if i sell them for 60 stubs 50 uh 60 subs minus the six reduction i'll make about 40 something stubs right off the bat off each okay that is insane imagine he goes up to 100 stubs i'm gonna make 90 stubs off each i have 30 of them i'm gonna make about 2700 stubs 
Think about that, guys. He's still pitching gems. He's a, literally a top 15 starting pitcher this year. He's playing amazing. I hope he keeps it up. Another one. If you guys watch my channel, you guys know this one too. Vogelback. Vogelback still doing good. I'm pretty sure I have a couple. I have seven, eight. Another guy. Oh my god, did I have him in the game yet? I think that added him, right? Paddock. Paddock's a silver? Yeah, Paddock. He's unbelievable. I have no words for this guy. He, he destroyed the Mets. Go pick him up if you can. He's going to be gold in no time. He just had a, what, 13, 14 strikeout game against the Mets? But yeah, before I end the video, I'm going to show you one more, and you guys know who it is. It's Pete Alonso. Pete freaking Alonso. Actually, no, I have one more to show you as well. Pete Alonso. I have seven. He had another home run. And it was a freaking home run in the top of the ninth inning, bro, against the Padres. It was wild. I was so hyped. He flipped the bat. The umpire didn't like it. But, yeah, pick him up, too. And one more. Last one for the vid. Mr. Luis Castillo. Here. Where is he? Luis Castillo. I'm pretty sure it's a 2 ERA. Quick sell value. I have two. I'll pick up more. But you guys know what I'm saying. If you guys are watching this video... Just go drop the like, drop the sub, man. I'm grinding every day. Stay tuned for some fire content. You know what's going on. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey, yo,